this video, we'll be talking about Mann-Whitney-U test. Mann-Whitney-U test is the non-parametric equivalent of independent samples t-test. If the assumptions or one of the assumptions of independent samples t-test is not met, then we choose its non-parametric equivalent, which is the Mann-Whitney-U test. Parametric tests, once again, make use of the mean scores, while non-parametric tests use the median scores. So let's have an example for this one. Let's go back to our sample problem. So we have here our statement of the problem, a study that's, that aims to assess the accept acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform with the following SOPs, profile of the respondents, I highlighted sex and grade level because these two are basically measured in two levels. Sex has two levels, that is male and female, and grade level has two levels, which is grade 11 and grade 12. So why did I highlight this? Because man with new test is used to test the difference between two independent groups. Since male and female are two independent groups, so man with me can be used for the profile variable sex. And then since grade level 11 and 12, are two independent groups. Once again, we could use man with me for that. I also highlighted SOP number three. Is there a significant difference in the level? So that's in the level of acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform as assessed by the respondents when they are grouped according to their profile. So man with me U test is applicable if the profile variables used are sex and grade level. So we have here once again a sample questionnaire. So sex once again has two levels and grade level has two levels. Thus, Man Whitney is used. And then for the level of acceptability, so the level of acceptability is measured in rating scale. And in most cases, a 4-point rating scale, even a 5-point rating scale, would yield to non-normal distribution. Thus, the use of a non-parametric test. So let's take a look at our example here. So I already had transferred the coded value for sex, grade level, and then I have here the level of acceptability as to usefulness and ease of use. So how do we run Man Whitney U test? All you have to do is to go to analyze, choose non-parametric test. Go to Legacy Dialogues and choose two independent samples. And then under this, let me let me move all this to the left. So you'll see this panel. So we'll be we'll be checking the difference between male and female. So I'll choose sex here and move it under grouping variable. And then I'll be defining groups. So one for male, two for female. And then continue. And then I'll be testing first for the usefulness. And then move this under my test variable list. And then click on, by default, man with new test or man with new U is already checked here. So you just have to click on OK. And there you go. So you have here the mean rank and the U value, 563.5. And the SIG value or the P value, which is 0 0.098 or 0 0.10. So I may just double click on this one, highlight and copy this. Place it on my table, so I'll change this. So once again, I'll highlight and copy this and paste it on my table. So I have there my mean rank. I'll get the U value. U value is 563.5. And P value is, with that's the SIG value, 0 0.098. So that's the same as 0 0.1. And since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, so this is interpreted as not significant. And since it's not significant, the decision will be accept the null hypothesis or accept HO. So let's do this for the grade level this time. So you go to analyze. Analyze, non-parametric tests, legacy dialog box, two independent samples, will change sex. Let's move sex back to the left panel. 
and then choose grid level here and then move it to the grouping variable define it as one and two continue and then click ok so you have here the mean rank for the grid level so i'll just double click on this copy and then paste the value here and then the u value is 659.5 and the sig value is 0 0.66 so this is 659.5 and 0 0.66 the six so again since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 so this will be not significant and the decision is accept the null hypothesis so the table reveals that when we compare male and female so we could actually include here the variables indicators so again we could insert the indicators So that we could present our variables clearly so this is the male and female levels we have your grade 11 and 12 there you go so a higher mean rank means that they had been rated higher also meaning to say if your indicator is strongly agree agree so more female are agreeing strongly than male but the difference once again is not that significant so that's basically it on how you run the man with new test using SPSS